Welcome back to my fall garden. Today we're going to make a really awesome bushcraft project. Stay tuned. Just tidying up my garden for the fall and today I thought we'd do a fun video. Um, I want to do a little bit of basket making and as you can see here I have a blackberry bush that has gone wildly out of control but one good thing about this blackberry is it's thornless. So I've got lots of material here. I'm thinking today let's make a basket. Just gonna use these heavy loppers here and chopping down uh, Look how thick these stems are getting, my gosh. So I'm gonna have a lot of material here to work with and uh, it's still nice and tender. You don't want the heavy woody stuff. So let's get working. Well, Boris thinks he's being helpful. As you can see, I have completely decimated that blackberry shrub. Right, right back down, it grew like so many feet this year, it's crazy. So right over there, you can see all the um, stems I gotta work with. Just gotta take the leaves off. Right, we've had a little bit of rain but I've had some time to take off the leaves from the blackberry vine, so we've got lots to work with here. Okay, so I'm gonna take six, um, I don't know, arm length pieces. I'm gonna cross them over like that um, into a cross and make them kind of like an equal um, length all the way around the arms of the cross. Now we're gonna lash them together. And go around like that. Tie them together. I keep prevent them from kind of rolling so you can see what's going on. All right, perfect. So now they are tied together like that. And now I'm going to um, spread out these little um, spines here a little bit farther from each other. twist around. It's the tricky part. Okay, so not another good start there. So now I need, um, I don't need the full um, 12 spines. I need an odd number, so I'm going to cut one away. All right, so now I'm down to the 11. Um, just wanna make sure that we're actually weaving this together. So I'm gonna start like so. So that, you know, if it, something went over it before, it's gonna go under it this time. So there we go. See, I'm going under where this went over before. Just kind of weaving. This is really tricky. Well, it ain't pretty, but it's coming along. Um, as you can see here, just kind of molding it into a little bowl as I go along. It's not the prettiest thing I made. Probably won't be as durable, but I'm just practicing. This is the first time I made something like this, guys, so <laughs> let's keep trying. Well, there we go, just about done. It's starting to take shape now. It doesn't look like a complete jumbled mess. So I've got a few more rows of, um, you know, weaving to do here, but I think it's turning out pretty well. I'm squishing down the um, vine as I go along. So here I am just gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more weaving using some smaller ones here at the top and just really, as you can see, pushing down on the vines to kind of make the bowl a little bit more compact. So just gonna take a little bit longer to do this and then in a moment, I'm gonna show you guys how we finish off the basket. All right, I think we're all done there pretty good. Um, some loose areas, I'm just gonna kind of squish them in a little bit here just to make a tighter fit. Now I'm going to take the top spokes and just bend them around and uh, stick them back into the basket so that we have a nice smooth surface. So I'm just gonna put this in front of that spoke and I'm gonna tuck it into the basket with the stem facing inward. 
After a while, what we're gonna do is just trim off those little um, edges that kind of poke into the basket. So you're gonna wanna go all the way around doing this, putting each one in front of the other and tucking it into the basket, just so it makes a really pretty pattern here at the top of the basket. Well, on the home stretch now, just tucking everything into the basket. I'm kind of just molding a little bit more, squishing everything down, shaping the basket. Some of the spokes are a little bit shorter than I was anticipating, they're sticking out a bit. So, well, live and learn. So I'm just gonna tuck them in the best I can. And in just a moment, I'm just gonna grab the clippers here just to kind of trim off, just to prune off a little bit of those extra pieces of vine, just to tidy up the basket and make it look really good. Most of the stems should be just inside the basket you're trimming off, but if you have any on the outside, you can also trim them as well or tuck them in. This one, I can just really struggle with it. I can stick it in there, but that one I'm going to have to cut off. There, I think it looks pretty good. Well, it's all done and I, you know, it's not gorgeous, but you know what? It looks pretty darn good. My first attempt at this and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I got her done. The goal was achieved. <laughs> may not look like those you see in a museum or in a store, but it's something, right? So I made a few mistakes uh, during this whole project. I really think I should have uh, soaked the vines a lot longer. I kind of relied on Mother Nature to keep them nice and wet with all the torrential rain we've been having. But really I should have soaked them, uh, submerged them and soaked them about a foot, about an hour per foot of length of the vines is what I'd heard for you know doing willow basketry. So probably something similar for these guys. Another thing is I used some pretty thick vines and a combination of that and uh, you know them not being as moist as they could be I end up with some of the a lot of them actually a lot of the vines kind of crinkling and bending and you know I guess that's kind of to be expected but that may affect the longevity of the basket itself and the sturdiness of it so I think I'll use smaller vines next time soak them and uh, you know just grit a little bit more practicing with the weaving because a few times you know I got lost in the process of the weaving forgot kind of where I was and sometimes I end up with a few mistakes here and there so, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it worked out, turned into a nice little bowl, but uh, practice makes perfect. So I'll be doing a lot more of this and uh, pretty soon I'll have some pretty decent looking baskets to show for it. So I'm going to try maybe more blackberry um, baskets. I could try weaving some grasses. I could also try maybe some willow uh, in the spring or something like that. So I'm going to try. So I think it's a really important skill to have to learn how to weave uh, and make baskets. You, know, you may need that in a survival situation. Thanks so much for watching today's video and learning a bit more about making blackberry baskets. If you guys are basket weavers or have some advice for me, don't hesitate to leave it down below in the comments. Hope you guys have a great week as always, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.